Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. So today I'm making a video on why Trent Williams will most likely be traded by the Redskins during the draft. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into it. As you guys have all, all know, Trent Williams has been on the trade block for the last month or so. And really, his future has been in doubt for almost over a year. So we're looking to trade him. And there's been a few teams that have been rumored to us, like the Jets, the Seahawks, Browns, uh, Bucks, maybe even Chargers, a few others. But those are the main teams. And today I'm just going to walk you through why I think Trent Williams is going to get traded during the draft. So right here, Peter King in a podcast with J.B. Finley um, was talking about the value of what the, he thinks that Trent Williams will get. And he said that the Jets, maybe the Seahawks would be interested. And he thinks that uh, he should be able to get a mid to low second or a very high third. That would be good, in my opinion, get a second round pick. Um, and then J.P. Finley said, um, the NFL draft seems to be a likely time for the left tackle to be dealt. And the reason why I think that is because a lot of teams, well, first of all, the Redskins want to most likely, unless they're getting a good player, a good starter, they want to get a player or a pick for this year's draft, not next year's draft. So uh, I think that, uh, they could get the most value that they could possibly get during the draft because if teams like, let's say, the Browns, the Jets, the Seahawks, all these teams miss out on their prospects, these left tackle prospects, like Tristan Wirth, Mekhi Becton, Andrew Thomas, Austin Jackson, Josh Jones, all these guys, if they miss out on them and they don't feel comfortable taking Isaiah Wilson or someone like that, in the late first round, then maybe they rather trade us a second round pick and get Trent right away. And I'll talk about this for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to be show you, showing you guys what players can be available there, and I'll do like a mini mock draft and show you what we can get in the second and third round. So yeah, and I think this is a, a possibility for the Redskins to get the most value possible. They could, I think if teams are desperate, I do think they can get a second round pick just because, like I said, if you're a team like the Seahawks or someone like that, and there's not a good enough left tackle that you think that can start day one on the board at the late first round pick in the later part of the first round, then you're probably better off trading for Trent Williams and giving us a second. And the Redskins already made a deal with the Seahawks, so they're familiar with them and should be able to get a deal done quick. And probably they've already been in contact with them. And I do think Trent Williams will get traded during the draft just because people will uh, swing, and miss, swing and miss on prospects that they want to get, and the Redskins definitely want picks this year, a day two pick this year, and I think they definitely can get it, and I think a second round pick, like Peter King said, or a third and an additional player slash mid-round pick, maybe a third and a fifth, third and a fourth, or hopefully a late round would be ideal. I do think it's a possibility. And if we can end up getting that, there's a lot of really, really good players available for the Redskins to get at that spot. So I will show you guys real quick, and then I'll show you some players that we could end up getting. So I did a trade with the Seahawks, uh, who are a team that were, in, were rumored to maybe possibly trade with. They do need a left tackle. Dwayne Brown's 35 years old. And so I traded them uh, our, well, just Trent Williams for the 59th overall pick in the draft because it is a late round pick, like Peter King said, and it works out. So if you look at this, look at all the great players available. You got Isaiah Wilson, uh, Lucas Niang, Prince, uh, a lot of good tackle prospects. You also got Cole Komet available. Uh, and if you look at the receivers, you have Chase Claypool, Michael Pittman, KJ Hamler. So you got so many great prospects, in my opinion, that you can draft. And getting a second-round pick just opens so many possibilities because we got Chase Young at that two-pick. So now we're going to try to build around Dwayne Haskins. So we have a late second and an early third to do that. So we can get, like, uh, I'll, I'm not necessarily going to take too much time on this. But let's say, let's get Isaiah Wilson, who's slated to go to the first round, but let's say he he drops. He can play right tackle or left tackle. Uh, let's say we got Isaiah Wilson. So there we just got our left tackle, and now we're picking at 66. So uh, tight end, we could go tight end here, or we could go wide receiver. Let's just say we go Michael Pittman Jr., who's 
honestly probably going to go before this. But if he's available, I think he's going to be a stud. Or you could go KJ Hamler, KJ Hill, which I think is really going to be a fourth round pick. And we would be better off doing that. But getting this second round pick opens so many possibilities because then we get an extra pick that we don't have to worry about uh, tackle. Since we got tackle in the second round, we don't have to worry about tackle really until the fifth or seventh round. And you look at cornerback, there's still some good cornerbacks here. But overall, I would love if we got this uh, deal done. So there we go. We got Michael Pittman. And I'll do a couple more picks. But overall, you see what we ended up getting. We got a second round pick, which ended up getting us a left uh, slash right tackle to play for us this season, which is great in my opinion. And if we even a third round, if we can get an early third like he said, that would be very good to a third and maybe a fourth or fifth would help us out a ton. And some players that we could end up trading for, if let's say we only get a third, we could trade a third for possibly a um, OJ Howard type player, David Njoku, or some maybe even an offensive tackle uh, to start right away. So right here, we got a lot of players that we could go for. And I'll just, um, Adam Troutman's moving down the boards a lot, but I really do like him here. But let's go ahead and take Bryson Hopkins. But there you go. You see what we ended up getting? Uh, we got, obviously, Chase Young, stud. We ended up getting Isaiah Wilson, who can start probably year one, and got Michael Pittman, a wide receiver to help out Haskins, and a tight end. So overall, great draft. And I think that just opens up so many possibilities for us. And I think it will help us out a ton. So right here, this is our team. We got about $26 million in cap space, give, a, give or take a few uh, million, because some deals are still in place. But trading Trent Williams saves us $12.5 million in cap space. So if we just did a straight-up deal for a pick, then we would save a lot of cap space for this year. But it really doesn't matter too much just because we have so much cap space for this year, and he's only on a one-year deal right now. So it's not like it... it like frees up cap space for the next year. So honestly, if a team is having trouble uh paying Trent Williams this year, they don't have much cap space, I wouldn't be I wouldn't have a problem with paying a couple million, a few million, because it really doesn't hurt us. So if you want to go through a couple teams, and I do think the Vikings could be another team that we trade a late round pick for a sec or a second round pick because they have a late second round pick. So you could go Vikings, just give up straight up for a second or third round pick. Or They've got a couple players that possibly could trade for Riley Reef, who is a good, le decent left tackle, but is paid a lot. We could get end up getting a third or fourth round pick additional uh, uh, with Riley Reef, which would be decent, I think. Or you could end up maybe, maybe, maybe getting Anthony Harris, who's a stud safety. And I don't know how it would work out, how each team values each player. But we also could get a potential 6th, 5th round pick with that additionally. And then you got other teams like the Browns and um, Bucks, Other teams that we could possibly get a tight end. Because, again, if we get a, a mid-round pick and a tight end prospect, then that opens up so much. Because then we don't have to go after that position early. Like, if we get O.J. Howard in the... Or get O.J. Howard in, like, a 4th round pick... We don't have to get a tight end at least until like the fifth round, really, if we don't want to. And we end up getting another pick. So we could uh, spend that third round pick on maybe uh, an offensive tackle and then that fourth round on re wide receiver and cornerback, other positions. But yeah, overall, I'm really, I really do think that he's going to get traded during the draft. Watch him get traded today after I say this. But I do think he's going to get traded during the draft. And. Hope probably during the first round, I really don't see. I think teams will want to do it uh, early, maybe after day one at night before um, day two. Draft is 10 days away, guys. Um, we're pretty close. And just, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting uh, some, maybe a couple more mock drafts, doing a stream maybe tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, Trent Williams, probably going to net us a second or third round pick that we can... Uh, end up taking one of these guys and helping uh, solidify our young core of players. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. When do you think he's going to get traded? And also, what do you think he's going to get traded for? And do you think that and what position we should target 
with our third round pick. I might make that a video in itself. And yeah, give me some video suggestions in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button and uh, share the video. And let me know if you guys would be interested in watching a live stream tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace. Stay safe.